chapter 2. We are in a even more bigger, bigger problems. Please, Kamina, don't do this. Don't, don't, don't complain, we didn't throw you out. Take him to the brig. Yep. Apparently, these ships can actually withstand uh, long acceleration. How long until the pirates are back in range? Hour, maybe two, depending on burn. Same as last time. Okay, they have been the following. That. And a tin time before that. I have seen this in Battlestar Galactica. Time to get creative. How are you doing? I'm not the one we need to worry about. How so? Don't tell her I said this, but Khan's the toughest person I know. I think the bullet just made her mad. Tough or not, she's going to need help soon. Yep. Yeah. You'll figure something out. I know you will. Motherfuckers! Shouldn't be possible! ETA, eight minutes! Oh. They must have increased their burn this time. Uh, uh, don't these Pashangwalas rest? Humans rest. Pirates are fucking animals. We need to do something. Pirates are not all. humans. Virgil has the med bay prepped and ready. It's fine. Hardly hurts anymore. We're outgunned and nearly out of fuel. Unless we come up with a plan to shake them soon. Infection's gonna be the least of my problems. What do you think we should do? What do I think we should do? Besides find ourselves a captain who knows how to make decisions? I was asking your opinion. My opinion is that there is no good option. Whatever you choose will be wrong. And it's your fucking job to choose, Captain. No, not good options. Coordinates, 8214. Yeah. What are we looking at? Fuck if I know. It's a ship's graveyard. Debris field. Caught in orbit around that body. Ah. There's nothing registered there. How do you know? Back when I was MCRN, there were reports of a proxy battle right around here with UNN forces. Never confirmed, but seemed legit. Or much more likely, it's some solar backscatter, radiation cluttering, or any other fucking thing. Well, if that works. How large was this battle? Large enough for a pissant ensign like me to hear about it. I'd guess nearly a dozen ships. Ah. New plan. We run for cover in there. Won't work, boss man. If we, if we break their lock, they'll be able to track our drive plume. There won't be a drive plume. We burn hard for here first, then cut engine and turn into orbit. Let it carry us around until we land in the debris. Slingshot, fuck yes! Uh, with the asteroid. Uh, it, Could it, work. It does there have is a actually something there. Really small gravity. Stations! Con, on my word, loose a PDC volley, then turn and burn. Okay, shooting and running.
by the heat. 5G! 6G! Turning! Now! RCS thrusters might be a cold, so they won't they won't be tracked with the uh, IR like the landed in fusion place. drive would be. Fusion <laughs> drive is practically <laughs> shouting that here we are. It's shit pirates! You did it, boss man! Fucking legend! <laughs> Quiet. Okay, they lost us. But they will come back when they see that there's nothing, nothing around. Or they, they think they can't track. We don't so, have much time. Yeah. The pirates are searching for us, and we can't run again without more fuel and reaction mass. Arlen? Baratna and I will head out and start scanning. Captain, I'm prepped for surgery as soon as Khan is ready. <sighs> Tell that waste of oxygen I wouldn't be needing surgery if he didn't freak out the first time. I'm still here. <laughs> Virgil won't let you down. She handled Rayan's surgery just fine. The prosthetic is ready. Is the, uh, patient? Okay, so, so they are going to but cut the arm to away. Sure Dr. Dipshit doesn't cut off the wrong arm. Yeah, they have interesting technology. It's easy, easier to repair the limb by growing them back. Okay, that's a... Uh... More stuff to Scanners salvage. Scanners picking up any signs of fuel. Keep looking. Meantime, I'll go for the reaction mass. Okay. What a mess. What got Earth and Mars so worked up? And what's a Belta ship doing in the middle of it? Who knows? Hopefully they all got some reaction mass on board though. Crowley. So, MCR... This is the Martian ship. UNN ship is here. And... This is the, this is the Belter, Belter ship, I think. Damn, the blast doors to the Laguna are locked like down. Green. 
Not sure if there's a way to open them. Always a way through. If you got enough explosives. Go, check out the other ships. I'll see what I can rig up. You want to use explosives to blast through a blast door. Guess that could work. Blast the blast door. Genius. Containment vault. Rayan, how's the new prosthetic doing? Sometimes it feels just like my old leg. But then sometimes it feels like it's the stranger who won't let go of me. And then it starts itching so bad. Quit whining. You made the red call, Cap. Ray wasn't using his leg much anyway. <laughs> I'll never look at a containment vault the same again after that terrible situation with Rayon. Yeah, well, they are dangerous. Found some reaction mass. Toss it to me. I will store it. I don't think I'm going to toss it. Mistakes were made. Nice toss, Cap. Woo. Boss man. You probably noticed me Baratna has been a little edgy lately. Ray, your brother has been an angry Pasheng Wallow since my first day on board. This is different. He's he's got the shakes. It's the pixie dust. Uh. He's been clean for almost a year. He takes some meds that help keep him straight, but But we haven't done a supply run in weeks. Yeah. Ran out of Toxiperidone three days ago. Don't worry, boss man. He'll be fine. He's tough. But, thought you should know. So I need to find medicine for the crew members. Find medicine for Arlan. I'm sure Khan will be fine. But it wouldn't hurt to check on. Don't want to interrupt, but how is everything down there? The auto dock kept us on track. But Virgil had to do some of the larger incisions himself. Khan will be out for a while. When she wakes up, we'll try to attach the prosthetic and... What the... Oye, Maya. Shit. Maya is always complaining about the tools in the engineering bay. Maybe an MCRM model would cheer her up. Yeah, Cap. Cheer up the Martian girl with your tool. Pasheng Fong. This hole. By the way, what's what's this? Guidance system. Might be able to rewire this guidance system to work with our ammo. Oh, we could it was miss good us. Enough for Earth and Mars to tear each other apart. And neither side surrendered, even after taking heavy fire. Stupid Inyas, they never know when to quit. Yeah, man. The ship didn't have a missiles. Now we do, but we need to launch them. Coffee machine. Huh. Typical Inyas. Travel all the way out here, yet can't break free from their peppy plant extract. Some people don't have anything real to care about. Every sci-fi sci ship needs needs a coffee machine. What's this? Mushroom powder. Virgil will probably appreciate these mushrooms. Oh, 
maybe he'll make white kibble when we get back. Yeah, kibble. Cap, what do you think of Virgil? You trust him? Virgil's a smart man and a reliable medic. Until he got our pilot shot, you mean? Yep. These boots might fit Khan. Once I get the feet out of them. Oh. Yeah, feet are a good sign. Means they work. Got a barrel here. I'll take her. Good work, Sasata. Boss Mang, I got everything hooked up to blow the door. Head back to the Laguin and check it out. Got it. Hopefully, we'll find enough reaction mass to get out of here. And then what? We going treasure hunting? Yeah. You think those coordinates go anywhere interesting? We've been on the run for a week because somebody thinks so. Think so with a lot of torpedoes and guns, even. Captain Crazies. So the Belters stole some tech from the MCRN. That's how this started. Then why did the UNN get involved? They figured that whatever the Belters had, it was worth taking. Of course they did. Must be the captain. Very proud of his connections to the UN and Brass. I'm tethering myself just be on the safe side. Plus this is more natural natural to go around. Of course I, I can go to the <laughs> sides and <laughs> sides and, and the roof as well. Okay. I hope Khan's surgery goes well. For her sake and Virgil's. Is everything um Okay, she just said we've been boarded. And now she's wandering around looking for intruders? So, everything's fine. <laughs> Maya, this is Khan we're talking about. No one knows what she's capable of. You need to hide. First of all, fuck you. <laughs> Second of all, she's gonna hurt herself if she... Wait. Hey there! Do you wanna lie down for a minute? Do you wanna fucking die?! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Self-propelled drums. Hopefully won't need these anytime soon. After this week, maybe keep them close by. Huh. Okay, so this is the mess hall and... This is the... Lift and I didn't check the whole place last time I was here. Okay, now we are talking. Star map. Leg fiend. Stolen tech.
Whatever the Belters stole, the UNN and MCRN both went after it. But how did this turn into a shootout? Mars couldn't stand the loss of that tech. And the UNN couldn't resist the chance to get their hands on it. And the belt got caught in the middle again. Once the inners caught up to the belters, it was over in minutes. Well, nothing, nothing else in here. Let's pull load the door open. Explosives are set. Good work, Kamina. Now let the whole station see what happens to traitors who sell out the OPA to the Inyas. I'm in. Another blast door. Pushing. Fine, I'll get more explosives. No need. I should be able to access the lockdown controls from the bridge. Good thinking, Cap. Could still find more explosives. Just in case. Maya and Khan start uh, thank, fighting. Thank you for following there won't Kemi. Be any ship left to go back. Clemmy healing. Please tell me you're still alive. Okay. Khan and I had to trade a few punches, but we got her calm enough to attach the prosthetic. Aw, were you worried about me? Of course I was. The next time you go up against Khan, at least bring a torpedo. Hey. I did okay without the heavy weaponry. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to find an ice pack. <laughs> okay. That went surprisingly well. Yalek Pashang! If there's one thing all belters can agree on, is that the moldy filters kick ass. Moldy filters. Bethnas, your Titania OPA family await you with open arms and fully loaded rail guns. <laughs> Uh, okay. The solenoids you took from the MCRN, justly of course, are going to be advanced or terror work. Yeah, incredibly. Ah. Looks like the crew tried to record a message. This message is to all Erda and Martian security forces in the area. We have received your warnings and demands, and this will be our only response. The MCRN says we have stolen their property. The UNN says we are traveling illegally. Okay, no sector. promotion in this channel. If you want to us. promote something to me, our... either throw a whisper or Deal. use the business email. Incoming! Stand down now and let us keep our course. We will either join our OPA Baratnas on Titania, or sacrifice ourselves to your destruction. There is no other option. Belter Lorda, who here is prepared to die for your belt? Belter Lorda! Belter Lorda! Belter Lorda! Belter Lorda! Belter Lorda! You hear that? Wouldn't surrender the tech and sent their message in the only way the inners understand. What was the message? That the inners may control everything, but they can't control the belt. And they'll never control belters. Brave, Koyos.
Okay, now I can find the medicine. Here, Golgo table. So this is some kind of board game. I wiped the floor with doors one time. He declared that Gogo -Go was frivolous and banned OPA from play. <laughs> Typical. Huh. Okay, nothing else here. Okay. I'll need to make a hole to pass this to the twins. Okay, so I can cut a hole here. Apparently those fuel pots are much, much more efficient than you would think. Found another barrel. Woo! This is loaded! Or oh, whatever the Inya say. <laughs> Touchdown! Woo! We've got some radiation from a nearby ship, the Manitoba. Scanner shows the engine is mostly intact. Maybe a few pellets too. Boss man, that's the far edge of the debris field. You'll be exposed. You two head back to the Artemis. Everyone stays on the ship, but be ready to pick me up on my order. Okay, so it, it is possible, actually. Captain, we're picking up a communication from the Europa's Bane. Sabaka, they locked us? No, it's a broadcast. But they must know we're close. Patch it over. There is no sense in running anymore. You know who I am, and I am looking forward to meeting you. Contact me to discuss the terms of your surrender. Or just sit and wait until we find you. It's only a matter of time. Shit, shit, shit! Cap, you got to get back here! Not without fuel pellets. Stupid drone is stuck. I wonder what would happen. <laughs> okay, that was gruesome. Sabaka. I doubt they will all be so easy to kill. Virgil, if I respond, will they be able to trace the signal? No, it will only confirm you are in broadcast range. But they seem pretty sure of that already. Put me through. Captain Zapata, this is Kamina Drummer of the Artemis. I don't want to fight you, but keep sending your crew after me, and I'll be forced to keep killing them. You're a long way from Ceres Station, Kamina Drummer. 
You've heard of me? I've heard of your work and your bounty. But if I'm speaking to you, what happened to Garrison Cox? What happened? He attempted to double his profits. As a result, I am now captain. Not surprising. There's no loyalty among scavengers. Not that the OPA is any better. You must really enjoy the company of miscreants. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 Yes. Let's go, good. let's go, let's go. So, little breather here. And down there. One, one guy at the roof. Expansion weapons are really powerful. Or they have just very bad. You can always retreat, Toussaint. Protect the rest of your crew. Your reputation is well earned, Captain Drummer. Daniel and Yuri were... They were two of my best. But their needless deaths do not change. Enough. I've had a very long week in a crash couch because of you. Either fall back or keep sending your men to die. Those are your options. Solenoid analysis. Evade the pirates. Uh, mission logs. Yes. Please tell me this thing has ammo. <laughs> She's got to shoot. Shoot no. the thing. Everyone, stay back. What's happening? Why are the pirates pulling away? There are always more options, Captain. I'll have the coordinates. Even if I have to come. Okay, so they noticed her them. ship. Goodbye. You're bluffing. Hello? Toussaint! Come on. Gotta be some ammo left. PDC delivery. <laughs> Sabaka! Are you crazy? You could get killed. So could you. Now step back and let me do my job. I don't know what the fuck you two are doing, but I'm approaching your location on control thrusters for whenever we shove off. Glad you're back at your post. If there's a choose. What are you waiting for? We only get one shot before they know our position. Oh no. There!
drive. Yeah, that's that's good. Oh yeah! Did you see that? Oh, oh no! Oh no! That's a torpedo. No! I believe celebrations are in order. I, I didn't find the medicine. Once again, it, it was probably stored somewhere. That's pretty f difficult to find. Unless they are giving me a side quest and Except me to Coordinates are set for the MK core. Time to see what all the fucking fuss is about. With the fuel you found, we should have no problem getting there and back to Ganymede at least. And how is the new prosthetic? <laughs> Works. It'll do. Get some rest, Captain. No telling what we'll find at those coordinates. I've never had anything resembling a civil conversation with Khan before. But I've also never had a cigar to ply her with. Yeah. Hey, Khan. Resting. Go away. <laughs> <clears throat> I found this cigar on the Urshanabi. Thought you might want it. But I could always give it to the twins. Don't you dare give it to those <laughs> morons. They'd use it as a butt plug or something. Probably. Is it Cuban? Shit. That bad. First taste. You earned it. It's a gift. It'd be wasted on me anyway. You're right about that. <laughs> <laughs> Lighter. My husband, Bao, used to hate when I smoked. Said it was 40 minutes of pleasure for three hours of cleaning out the air vents. Yeah, probably. Oh, th th there's a picture of he her involved. husband in the background. What happened to him? The 
Pinafore. A small transport skiff, owned by Trackman. I was pilot, Bao was chief mechanic. Boring work. Little outside contact. Exactly what we wanted. There'd been reports of pirates along our heading. The usual shit. We weren't worried because... What's the point? And besides, we had our protocol. Protocol? A maneuver we practiced. Case of hostile boarding. I'd feign submission, hands behind my head. And when Bao thought the moment was just right, he'd say the code word and hit the deck, and then... Modified SMG with heat targeting rounds. I could draw and fire the clip in five seconds, easily take out an entire raiding party. But... I don't know. Even with the surprise element, you're risking everything on one move. When it comes to pirates, one good move is all you get. If you're lucky. So what happened? The pirates came for us like we feared. They boarded the pinafore. I drew them in, got them occupied, and at the right moment, Bao said the word. And I froze. I'd never fired live rounds in battle before, and I suddenly doubted myself. What if the cliff was jammed? Would it even fire? Maybe these pirates weren't so bad. It was just a moment. But it was enough time for an antsy pirate fuck to grab me and shoot my bow. I'm so sorry, Khan. It sounds like you two really cared about each other. That's the thing. We did. It's so easy to stop caring out here. Don't That's you actually a good, good point. Artemis. I'd never heard of her. It was Bao who read all the Greek bullshit. Apparently, she and I shared a few things in common. Your godlike wrath. That may have been part of it. <laughs> Mostly, he said it was because... I never missed my shot. Tell you what, if I ever get the chance, you bet your ass I won't flinch again. Interesting. Can you believe how vicious these pirates are? Yes. I mean, how they were willing to blow us up just to prove a point. Yes. So you don't think there's anything special about them? Yes, I do. They seem to have more guns. And missiles. Any guesses on our destination? Nada. All I know is that it's far the fuck out there. So ever hid that treasure, wanted it far the fuck away. It's good talking with you, Khan. Yeah, yeah. Cox was even more unhinged than I imagined. <laughs> Let's search the captain captain's quarters. Uh, we could try to bribe him with this. Cox won't be coming out of his cell for a long time. Might as well give him some company.
What are these? Decryption keys? Pushing walla! I knew Cox was paranoid, but spying on his crew? Independent vessel, Contran. Khan is, is uh, marked as an owner. Least to Caris and Cox. Okay, so it's a uh, so Khan not Cox is the owner. Artemis. No wonder the records are spotty. Khan loves flying, but she doesn't seem to like. She has the patience of the paperwork. Khan's relationship to Cox makes makes a lot more sense now. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we should go and ask her. Khan named her ship after her greatest failure. Then never told another soul about it. Falota. The one thing I know about Virgil is that he's an excellent doctor. The rest is a mystery. These have gotten more use than anyone could have imagined. Cox said Virgil was hiding something. Let's find out. For an inner, he does make an excellent red kibble. Looks like Virgil has some anxiety from his past. Glad to see he is managing it. Ah, okay. Some, some skeletons in the closet. Never thought I'd be thankful for Cox's snooping, but that encryption key I found in his office should work. Apparently there's a lot Virgil hasn't shared about his past. Like his time as a UNN soldier. Government ID, passport, birth certificate, ooh, in ID card. I know certainly on errors who doesn't ask too many questions. So Virgil's not even Virgil. Whatever he's hiding, it was enough to make him change his entire identity. Parent for arrest, Thorston Mayor. Desertion. So he, he wanted to leave. Okay, so he Not only messed, did messed, hide messed his something UNN up service and his real during name, the he's stress. also wanted by his own government for desertion. I should try to get more information from him. So what's in the cargo bay? Oh, girlfriend, friend is in the cargo bay. It's Martian music. You wouldn't like it. I'll decide what I like and don't like. Of tone, tone of enders, actually. Okay, so it's it's it's, it's spinning. Well. It's very Martian. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a beautiful song. My mom used to play it for us on the guitar. Half the time she'd break down crying and not even finish it. 
It reminded her of my dad. Oh. It's funny. I hate my dad. I hate the army he died for. And I hate Mars. But I still miss it. Han seemed pleased with her prosthetic. Particularly the extra feature you included. <laughs> That's good. Although you realize we just took the most unhinged person on the ship and gave her a bionic skull crusher for an arm. Yeah. I think if Khan wanted to kill someone, she could do it without arms or legs. What you did in the debris field was incredibly reckless. You disobeyed my order, and you put the whole- Oh my god. You're fucking welcome. I was getting to that. Thank you. Anytime. <laughs> I'll leave you to it then. Wait. Um. About that moment in the airlock. Yes? Are you feeling any better? I know you were pretty scared, given how tightly you were holding my hand. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you grabbed my hand in there. Oh, sure. We can go with that if you want. I'm just saying, I'm here if you need to talk. The only thing we need to talk about is your delusional fantasizing about me. <laughs> I get it. It must be hard for the boss Meng. To express her feelings. <laughs> Especially to the hot Martian engineer who can totally kick your ass. Not according to that scoreboard. My point is, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Hmm. Even if you did clink helmets with me. Clink helmets? What is that supposed to mean? I suppose it's proposal in I Martian you know exactly culture or something. what it means. Helmet clinker. Yeah. Typical dumb Martian. You try to kiss a woman, but forget to take your helmet off first. <laughs> if I did try to kiss you, there'd be no fucking confusion about it. Huh. You know, we could stand here talking about hands and helmets all night. Or we could go back to my room and settle it. By settle it, are you talking about sex? Only one way to find out. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. I see. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's that's a bit. But sure. Honestly, I'm glad Maya finally got one. This was starting to get sad. Okay, what's else in here? It's a big airlock. Do we have a wa water? Okay, where did we put the captain? Former captain. Cox. Cox doesn't seem too bothered by his demotion. Cox. Are you here to let me out? Then kindly fuck off, Captain. Well, probably you won't want, want, don't want this. Hey, Cox. Catch.
the word you're looking for is thanks. Yeah, yeah. Now that I know the truth about Virgil, it's time to get some answers from him. What's on your mind, Captain? Let's start with I the bribe first for you to cook with. Bursting with umami. Exceptional. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. You served in the UNN. As a medic, yes. It was the only way I could afford medical school on Luna. Hmm. Why did you desert? Because I was finding it harder and harder to live with myself. Okay. Being stationed in the belt, I was surrounded by people in desperate need of my help. But because of the badge on my chest and the gun on my back, I was their enemy. One day... It became too much to bear. Did you do something? No. I never hurt anyone. I never raised my gun. Not once. But what I saw taught me that there were two sides and I was on the wrong one. I'm sorry. Captain, I hope that my actions on this ship can offer some amends for my past. Why should I trust you? Because I sacrificed everything I have to get away from my past and start a new life here in the belt. Oh, that, that works. I understand. But if there's anything else I need to know, I expect you to tell me. Of course. Thank you. So the Captain Cox was actually gathering misfits. Yes, I'm right, Captain, is my UNN past going to be a problem for us? You were stationed in the belt. That means you were occupying my home. Yeah, this, this is the problem. I know. The way I see it, you're wanted by the UNN for desertion. I'm wanted for fighting them. Sounds like we're both on the same side. Thank you, Captain. Arlen cheats Rayan like he's the weak one. But I haven't heard a single complaint from Rayan since his surgery. I kept telling Rayan to put that thing away. Now look at it. Anderson's station changed everything. Yeah, that, that, that was the message, message sir. Yeah. Colonel Johnson. Yeah, this is, this is the guy who we know from the TV service. I was skeptical of Virgil's maggot farm that he claimed would be useful in the event of an amputation. Now I'm hoping we have enough for Khan and Rayan. If I sleep with Maya, the entire crew will know about it. Nothing stays secret on a ship like this. Is one night worth all the drama? 
<laughs> that smirk actually. Ah, uh, choices. Yep. Let's go with it. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Ah. Uh. Fucking finally. Okay, she has been after after her for a long time. When Cox sat us down in the mess hall, I thought you were dead. And today in the airlock, I thought we were dead. I know. I'm just saying, you're not allowed to die on me, Kamina Drummer. Because I'm not losing the one person in the belt I give a shit about. I suppose th this will end badly. Mark my words. Okay, what's the cliffhanger this time? What the hell? Captain, you're going to want to see this. There's nothing on the map. No record of any settlements. So what the fuck is that? Something dirty little secrets. Okay, this was the second chapter, and third chapter is coming out next week, so I think we are going to check it. Still, still can't find the damn stuff. Uh, 